So we are here with Andy at the booth from Sword3D and you guys out there know them from Magigoo but you produce something else that's called? Hi, it's Hi. called Drywise. This is a completely new product. Mm -hmm. It's an inline filament dryer. So what is Drywise? Um, the issue with hygroscopic materials, mm -hmm. which are materials that take up the wet uh, well, moisture inside, it's really hard to actually treat them, right? So like PET or PA? Uh, PA mostly we're, we're talking about, right? Okay. Um, what does happen today? Basically, you get your material out of the box and um, you, you basically are requested to dry it. But you don't know how wet it is. You don't, the, the instructions how to dry it are quite vague. Maybe four hours, maybe 40 hours. Even if you have done all of that, you take it out of your oven, you still don't know how dry it is. So this process is unreliable and it is unacceptable for industrial use cases, right? Dryer, uh, Drywise is a first inline dryer uh, which has calibrated and certified material drying profiles before. Mm -hmm. What are we doing differently? We don't dry the whole spool. Uh, we dry just the segment uh, of material just before 3D printing. So that's a big difference uh, in comparison with the cheap filament dryers from major Chinese manufacturers. Correct. So usually if you dry in an oven or in, in any way, basically, you, you put the whole spool. You, you don't unwind it and then, right? You the whole spool. This issue is even harder if you have really industrial uh, spools which are two kilograms, five kilograms, are very big. You can dry maybe the upper layers, but the inner layers would be still wet, basically. So in line, the, the, the material goes inside and you pre-dry it in, in, in just under an hour. That's an, another difference, right? Uh, because in the oven you should dry maybe tens of hours. Yes. Here it's just under an hour. You feed it into the printer, and then printer keeps dragging new segments through the machine just in time. So we're solving multiple issues. Um, first of all, the spool size, as I told. Then it's time winning. Thirdly, it's a quality assurance product, basically, because every layer that you print is equally dried, as opposed to if you had dried it in an oven, and you have a very long print, 50 hour print for instance, your upper layers will be already getting wet again. Yes. So this is making sure that your, your print is, is, is qualified throughout. And thirdly, we're eliminating the redrying issue. So if, if say a user prints with nylon, but just prints half as a spool and then leaves it uh, over time, they have to redry it again. But with each cycle, basically, you are reducing the quality of the material. That's a big problem, yeah. Um, now I see you have here a MarkForge printer and you have a Ultima Ultimaker right there. Yeah. Uh, that means you support 2.85 and 1.75? Correct. These machines are dedicated to the material diameter mm -hmm. uh, because it's a inside it's a closed air loop basically we don't get the air from outside so we don't need to redry the air itself why why to do more work right yeah. uh, so there is an at the entry and the ac exit of the material path there are o-rings that is very specific to the filament size basically okay cool um now the average user of my channel thinks okay how much does this cost especially maybe it costs ten thousands of euros not quite. I mean, it is an industrial uh, machine, but it doesn't cost 10,000. It's, uh, okay. it's 1,900 for the retail, okay, uh, which is acceptable for the client groups that we're going for, basically. It's affordable, okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye.